I don't know if you guys remember this, but this was pushed in just about an inch. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode from Backyard Boys. I am super excited to get this Rolls Royce all mudded out and show you guys how perfectly straight we can get it by the end of this episode. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and lightly tap that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to show your support by smashing that like button and copy yourself some merch. We got some merch down in the link down below. It is kind of loud, I apologize. We got some construction going on in the backyard, but um, in the last episode, I left you guys with this door. Basically, I left you guys off with this door being decently flat, but right here I had to shrink it a little bit more. So this door is all prepped out. And then I mentioned that we're basically repeating the same exact work on the rear door, but since the rear door was much more worse damaged, as you guys can see, we had to shrink a lot more of it. But it is all now prepped out. We have our little wooden stick. We made sure that everything is nice and flat and everything can be perfect by the end of this episode. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and tape, or take this off. I was about to say tape it off. Take this off. We're gonna DA the front door with the 80 grit, apply some uh, Bondo onto it, some body filler, not Bondo, some body filler, 3M body filler, and start blocking. Um, that's kind of the goal of this video, get this all blocked out and hopefully primed, but not too sure just yet. That's where we're gonna leave it off, and then my brother's actually gonna go ahead and take care of the painting part, all that stuff. Once it's fully assembled, I'll probably make another video for you guys because the interior is getting some custom touches and it looks absolutely stunning. But for now, we got a lot of work on our hands. Let's get right to it. I did forget to mention one thing. So last night, um, basically I got the doors all prepped out and here, what you're seeing here is this rigid pillar foam material, 3M material. So I'll get that right there, 08458. And this stuff here is actually, uh, what we're gonna do with it is the door has this structural beam that kind of runs across the whole door diagonally. And when the impact hit, it kind of broke the glue on the pieces. So what we're gonna do is actually go ahead and put a piece of tape and fill that in. That way the door is actually nice and sturdy. Although we did shrink it to a point where it is good. But I want to show you guys a couple experiments I did last night to see if this has any kind of strength. So there's a little nut you guys can see. I, I put a little pile of this stuff, I put a nut in there and I wanted to see if it would push the nut up. Clearly it didn't because this was the bottom, so it was like that. And then I filled up a little container here with this stuff as well and I want to see if it would pop the lid open and it didn't which is really good because all it does is it fills in the empty spots but it doesn't see how it filled in every single crack well I already kind of opened it but it fills in everything and it and becomes super sturdy yeah and it becomes very very sturdy literally exactly what we need so you guys can see there and it's really sturdy look at that like it's solid so let's go ahead and get that done prior to doing the body work because when we start blocking it might be wavy and that's not good we got to make the door perfectly sturdy and onto it we go. So here's that beam I was talking about running across the whole door. And here's that old glue that was in there, right here. Uh, there's a couple more pieces down there. During the impact, it just kind of popped off. So we want this to be very nice and sturdy. So we're gonna fill in all this empty space. Well, at least a couple of dots all out through, you know, all throughout the door. That way it's nice and sturdy. I'm gonna put tape um, like this right here, like that. That way it doesn't seep down and doesn't make a mess over here. So let's get on to it. Pretty excited.
So basically what I did here is I knocked everything down with the 80 grit DA, just kind of get it roughened up, that way the body filler sticks real nice. And um, as you guys saw earlier, behind this beam here, um, I put this material there and it just, literally this door is like rock solid. So if you can see compared to this door here, I have not put any material here. Look at that, it's super soft. Like, you know, this one here is just, it's exactly how it should be, it's perfect. So right here is actually, <sighs> Some body filler that I just bought. Spent like 160 bucks on this, but we're not gonna talk about that right now. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and start applying. I did buy this big, I don't know what to call it, spatula or whatever. What is this called? <laughs> yeah, what is this thing called? What is the spatula called? So I'm gonna use this as a big, large, flat edge. Um, it's 14 inches. It's just, when I put that body filler on here, I'm gonna just, just glide it through. It's gonna give, um, me a much better and much easier time knocking everything down making it flat first i'm going to apply it with this because it's going to be much easier to apply with that and then we'll see we'll just we'll, we'll figure something out let's get right to it
All right, so. <sighs> I hate doing massive body work. That's probably the only time you guys will um, hear me use the word hate when it comes to doing what I do. <sighs> big, long, big, huge panels like this. Man, I'm trying to get them perfect. This rear door here is just, or this front door here is about 60% ready um, for primer. We're gonna go ahead and body fill that one more time. Body fill this over here. But in order for me to block all that, I'm gonna have to have the door off the vehicle. So right now what we're gonna do is go ahead and rough draft um, mud this rear door. That way we get it looking something like this here, and then we can probably pull it off. And then, I mean, the final, final coat, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put both doors on, and I'm just gonna block them together. That way this here is super perfect. So let's go ahead and do the whole muddy procedure in the rear door. I kind of, I didn't realize that it was gonna be so much Bondo or so much body filler on one little paper. So my hands are all dirty, but it's kind of funny. Let's go ahead and redo that on the rear one, but use some gloves this time. <laughs> We got this thing right here set up because as you guys can see it's getting dark we got to get light in here this car got to be done by tomorrow um we got a lot we got a lot more work to do so the reason why this car got to be done tomorrow is because we have an appointment in two days for the seats to be reupholstered so we brand new seats interior is already painted um it's my part the hold up is on me right now so i got to get this thing finished right now we need some more energy so let's go to the store and get some red bull i'm excited What's up, what's up? I'm taking the E36. So, this car here, I bought for my second channel, which is Garage Rebels. So you guys can go follow that. Link will be down below, follow the Instagram as well as Garage Rebels. It's got a welded diff already, so you guys know that. We got fun stuff coming for this big, for this rig. Why is it bounce like that? That channel's gonna have some sick stuff, so we have one video coming up here probably in a week or so. Making some custom brackets right now, so it's gonna be pretty exciting. I'm not gonna share too much info, but yeah, it'll be really funny. It'll be a little bit different side. It won't really be like Backyard Boys. It won't be really like, it'll be more funny, fun, experimental stuff, so stay tuned for that. Man, I can barely see anything, it's gotta be fun.
this is about where we are on the car. We got this roughened out. It's feeling all right. A couple of high spots, knocked them in though. Um, like I said, I can't get access to the edges just because the panel right by it um, interferes with this. So I can't really get access here, can't get access here, and I can't get access here. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and work with the rear door first. We're gonna pop this door off right now, put on a stand. I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off on the stand. Once this door is ready, we're gonna move on to the front one. So let's get right into it, guys. This is very annoying work. It's fine though, you know, it is what it is. This thing here is prepped out for some body filler. I don't know if you guys remember this, but this was pushed in just about an inch in. Feeling really darn good. Should be one time with body filler and then be able to glaze everything out. I wanna show you guys the door, come over here. Look at this door. Woohoo! We laid it down real flat. So these pieces here will sand down really darn quick. And since the door is nice and flat, I have good access with it. I'm gonna block this thing and in theory right now it should be flat. Um, and then I can start working on this bottom edge here. 
So let's go ahead and get all that stuff done. Man, I just work and work and work. The Red Bull gave me some energy. It's about 10 o'clock at night right now. Let's get it. Alright guys, well it is the next day, I guess you could say, it's dark outside. I had a very special event today so I couldn't work during the day, but today is our deadline and we gotta get it done. So here's the front door, it is all blocked out with a 180 grit, got a 180 here on the long block, 180 there, and it's looking really good. Very happy about this door here. We're gonna go ahead and probably hang it back onto the vehicle. Doesn't seem to have any pinholes because I did back or I did fill it in with glaze, got everything perfected, and this door took a long, 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 long time. But from what I'm feeling with my hands and from what I'm estimating, this door should be straight as an arrow, which I'll definitely show you guys once the vehicle is painted. Let's go ahead and hang this door back onto the car and then pull that rear door off. This is what I'm looking like, super tired, but oh, there you go, probably like this. That's probably better lighting. Let's get working. So yesterday you guys were not able to see me put that door on right there by myself, that rear door. So you guys are about to see it today. That door is real heavy, so let's get it. All right, so I thought I was recording the whole time, but it turns out I wasn't. Well, can't believe I'm done with the doors already, but that's what they're looking like right now, I guess. The moment of truth will be officially when we paint it, but tomorrow we're gonna prime it. So let's go ahead and cut straight to that.
So this piece here is the very last piece. We got a prime and I am done from my part. I will definitely show you guys the vehicle once it's all painted, show you guys how flat the doors turned out, how good all the bodywork in general turned out. This was a big project. It was about seven feet of flat panel blocking, making sure everything is straight. So let's go ahead and get this primed out, put the doors on the vehicle and see how it looks. Two colors. <laughs> Well, 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 we are now finished off with the bodywork, the priming, and everything with the Rolls Royce. I look like a bum because this is my Bondo outfit. I hate, when I do big mud jobs, I put on the worst clothes I have just because it gets all dirty and stained. But anyways, we slapped the doors on for temporary. They look pretty good. The gaps are pretty. Um, it seems pretty darn flat. Everything is good. We addressed all the stuff inside here. So whatever was funny inside here, we made sure this was nice and good gap here so take a look at that gap you guys can see that gap is pretty nice and clean here and then looking at the gap here it's really nice and clean as well so the the primer here is still just a little bit um not fully cured so we're gonna let it cure a couple of days actually prior to blocking it but we're not gonna be doing that the owner of the car is gonna be doing all that stuff and painting it so the next episode you guys probably will see on this car is maybe a finished one of uh the rolls royce and if he lets me show you guys his uh, custom build g-wagon we'll show that one as well but with all that being said i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode stay tuned for more with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching if you guys want to support the channel please tap that like button down below if you guys like my content be sure to subscribe and i'm out